challenges mostly it's uh, uh, a little bit of uh, vandalism of course uh, and of course people are using these areas for dumping uh, which is quite a serious uh, challenge uh, so we always have to uh, be on our toes uh, spending all the little resources that we have on cleaning the sites uh, but we are appealing of course to the community in general uh, just to uh, respect the sites and to avoid uh, vandalizing the sites or dam using them as dump sites. Okay. Um, maybe of the three tombs that are still uh, under the care of the National Museum of Sudan Lambo Town, uh, this is perhaps the oldest uh, tomb uh, that is still visible. Uh, of course, we have a pillar tomb uh, in Gadeni. Uh, a pillar tomb, of course, is from the Abbasid period, and uh, normally uh, the pillar tombs are for gentlemen. Uh, and in many cases, the dome tomb are for, for, for burying women. This particular tomb is dated to over 300 years, three to 400 years, uh, even though uh, it is not really confirmed, actually. It uh, belongs to one Hidea Famao, uh, who is a very um, pious woman in her time, very religious. Uh, and uh, on her passing, her people uh, opted to uh, uh, give her a burial worth of a pious person and that's why they constructed uh, a dome tomb for her. Uh, it is still said that quite a number of people still come and say a prayer here. So people who have their own concerns, uh, they can come and uh, do a prayer here, uh, considering the, uh, the piety of the lady that is buried here. And this is one of the three tombs that the National Museum is taking care of within the Labo Old Town. Una na miti mingine hapa pia sikuweza kuambia uichukue. Ndio uangalie upate witness. Hii miti hapa. Wamekata mnacho hapo hapo.